Well, Terry, Blythe on Tuesday night, and do we call this a six-pointer? Uh, no, not yet. Well, yeah, when, every, everybody, when you play teams in around you, they call them six-pointers, you know, so if that's the case, that's just the way modern, that's where football talks, isn't it? Because they are, they are down there, they're only three ahead of us, so you could argue, yes, it's a six-pointer then. Was there much wrong with our performance, do you think, at Spennymore on Saturday when we lost 2-1? No, no, there's lots of positives. Lots of positives. Obviously, there was a few things wrong because we conceded a couple that we think we can do better with. The lads were great. They, they understood, held their hands up. Um, but no, no, we created. We, we started brightly. Uh, then they had that six or seven minute spell where they get the two goals and then we really finished the, four, four, the first half really strong. And there were some good chances in there that we didn't take. Second half, it was like an evenish game. But no, look, I still we had to lose. We, we can't. We couldn't have won like every game. Mm -hmm. I would have been very unlikely. We're still on a good run of form. It's just a minor hiccup, and hopefully. It was the encouraging thing was that the lads never gave up, did they? Right the way through to the end, they were still battering away at the Spaniard defence and trying to break them down, create an opening. Uh, but it wasn't to be, was it? No, it wasn't to be. Like you said, they've defended well. You know, they give them some credit. Uh, we've never give up. We've only had the one bad game, which we've mentioned that we thought the lads at Boston for the last half hour, every other game, the lads have given it everything. Um, so yeah, we've got no complaints with the attitude and effort that the lads put in. You know, like we've, we've had it like they'd had a tough week, you could say, off the back of the uh, the Scunthorpe game. You know, like the emotions, the energy they put into it. But no, we we competed right to the final whistle. Just wasn't to be on Saturday. Yeah. The good thing as well, mine, was that Will Hatfield didn't get himself booked because we were worried, weren't we, that he would pick up his 10th book and before Saturday, but he's uh, he's OK now. Yeah, that was a real positive. Obviously, Will play, you know, Will's good on the ball, but he's very tenacious as well in the tackle. You know, and actually the Scumthorpe game, we took him off for the last 15 minutes for that reason in mind as well. And again, on Saturday, we just we, we needed to freshen it up. We needed to freshen up in the middle of the park, so it was a... Probably the best one to do because then you you guaranteed now Will's safe now for the next two definitely, and unless he gets himself uh, another five in a row or five bookings, he's safe for the rest of the season, which is good for us. Yeah. Now Blythe, they haven't won for a few games, but that doesn't mean to say they're going to be an easy touch either. They're going to be battling away tomorrow night. No, Blythe's got a good side. We, we kind of yes, they're not in a good run of results. But I know a lot of people at Blythe, I know the management team, I know John really well. They're playing good football. I've, I've already watched one game. I'll watch another one, you know, before tomorrow night. They play good football. They created a lot of chances on Saturday. Um, so it's just because they're in a bad run, doesn't say they're not a good side. It'll be a very, very tough game for both teams. And you know a bit about them anyway, don't you, Terry? Because you were manager uh, a couple of seasons back and... There's four of our players used to play for Blythe, so we have a, a pretty good idea about what to expect from them. Yeah, yeah. Look, I had a really good time at Blythe. I went in a couple of years ago. Um, some similar to what we've done, and, and we kept them up. You know, we had a really good run of form towards the end of the season. I know about 50% of the players are still there. Like I said, I know the management team really well. Some good people at Blythe. And we, like you said, we've got players that have played for Blythe as well. So a lot of people know each other. Would come seven forty five. There's no friendships. Any, it's all about uh, Dalton putting in the best performance they can and getting three points. That's it, Terry. Because if we put in a great performance tomorrow night and hopefully pick up the three points, and that gives us another boost in trying to get away from the relegation zone, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Look, every game we'll go in the same mentality. We need to win because we'll get myself now in a really good position where there's five, six teams. Even you could say. In and around us now, which are within you know one or two games, and that's it. So we've got a like we've had a great run. We've had one blip, and like we said at the end of Saturday's game, let's start another run. The sooner we start another run, the better, and hopefully that will start tomorrow night at Blythe. Also, we'll have some great support behind us as well, won't we? The, the fans uh, played a big part in in recent matches. The fans have been you know brilliant, outstanding all the way through. It was great on Saturday when we came out. To see the whole of the side, you know, really full. The focal support's been excellent. And they stuck by one Saturday. They could see, you know, there was still plenty in the game. We were still, you know, like having a go. 
and, and fair play to them at the end of the match. They applauded the lads off and we really thank them for that. And we'll need that support again tomorrow night. It should be a great atmosphere at the ground, you know, tomorrow again. Yeah, and it'll be great to have three points on Tuesday night, won't it? Well, yes, it would, because we've had two good, the last two Tuesday nights have been really good. We've had two good wins away from home. So let's hope it's the third one in a row.